comedy albums, including a new box set entitled George Carlin, The Little David Years. Please welcome George Carlin. <laughs> Another chair to get used to. You're, are you are you used to it? It's you a like foreign it? chair. It's a it's a club chair. It's very expensive. It's, I'm not in this club apparently. Okay. <laughs> Feels uh, all right. I got to ask you. This is a this is an all star collection of your work. This CD set. Years 1971 to 77. Yeah. The Little David years. Little David was the name of the label that mm -hmm. I was on at that time. Uh, that was kind of my second burst of recognition. I had had a, a little burst in the 60s uh, when I was uh, kind of like yourself, no beard, short hair. Boring. Suit, yeah. Clean well, no, cut and boring. No, that's you saying that. Okay. Uh, but I, I was... You but know, you're, I'm sensing mainstream. it. I'm, no, I'm okay. I was kind of a mainstream comic. And then in the 70s, I had this, uh, this part of my career. Uh, this was the, you know, I had four gold albums in that set out of six, and the other two were aluminum, I think, okay. something like that. <laughs> quite gold right. but but good stuff and those were those were all a, a chapter in my life and then we did I, I want you to know there's a bonus album on there you got to have a bonus there is a, a 70 minute uh, CD on there of things that have never been heard before so that I say for the for the collector type of fan who likes that information and, and where, where, what year is that from same but from the same era oh, okay, and maybe cool. a tiny bit from the, the early 80s but so what you did in, in that uh, period of time was you let your hair grow long and you yeah. got a little racy didn't you? Well, yeah, but that's a little over simple. Um, what, what it was was I was doing the other stuff, and it wasn't really my true heart. It wasn't what I really felt. So what I did was for a two-year period, I just changed in front of people. I didn't go to the mountain and come back different. Okay. I, uh, I changed on TV on a lot of different shows, and I just made the material a little more political, a little more personal. And then I did start using language that they have a problem with in some places. Now the, you're, you're, you are you are are famous for this the seven words you cannot yeah, say right. and on on television right and can you refresh us on those seven words because oh, yeah. a lot of these these yeah. are a lot of young people here George you might not have heard that. and this became a Supreme Court case this is where the FCC rule came from right. from this record that was uh, played for them uh, <laughs> and tits those well, were those are It was very quick. That wasn't just one big word. No. <laughs> there were right. seven in there. And, by, and the last one you said, I actually can't believe, because I will yeah. say that when I'm cut off, I'll say tits. You, you know, when high, I'm sure. driving, yeah. driving the car. Well, and it, actually, I always used to say it doesn't sound like anything bad. It sounds like a snack, really, when you think about it. You know? <laughs> hey, uh, past the tits, would you? Cheese tits, corn tits, onion yeah. tits. Hey. Tater tits, tater right. tits. In fact, somebody once, uh, during that era, after that, that record was out for a while, someone sent back a box of some sort of, like, Nabisco product that they had altered, and they altered the label, and it was a box of cheese tits, and I was so happy. <laughs> so happy. I always, I always thought they were snacks. But they, it's, it's true. He's right. The man kidding, knows. The man knows. Uh, oh, I have another, I have a question, though. Question. I, I want to know about, I want to add a word. Okay. I, there are words that we use, because we push the envelope. I know, I, I saw that, that envelope looks kind of rogy. Right. You ought to get a new envelope but anyway uh pooner can we say pooner uh oh definitely yeah pooner's fine pooner's fine yeah big pooner is even better okay yeah. how about how about how about her her well d yes is okay uh especially if it's a guy named dick because that's an interesting <laughs> thing because that's a first name peter and dick are both first names mm. so you have a problem there and, and it, like dick her would be a wonderful name for a guy <laughs> Just a personal attitude. I, this, uh, this last one, I don't what, think. What limit? Regis. Yes, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, that, that, that's not on the list. It'll be in the Supreme Court real soon. Right, right. Now, look at this. This is kind of cool. Uh, you get the box set. You talked about the bonus. To me, this is the bonus. This is the bonus. Look at this. <laughs> okay, there, there's the mouth, and then it there changes. There goes the deal. And then look. You know what they call that? Wow. Lenticular. Lenticular. There's a word you can not say on television. Also. Lenticular. Now watch this. You don't know about this. You flip it over. And it's like playing it backwards. The records fall out. Watch this. <laughs> Very what? Oh, say! I gotta watch this show on TV. Look at that! Nice. Look at that! Very ah. nice. You betcha. 
<laughs> old Minnesota expression. Yes. Uh, now, what's the, we, here's one of the CDs. That, oh, you, don't, you know about this, the yeah. cover in the back? Yeah. This is Toledo Window Box. This was a type of pot that, that a guy gave me once. He said, here, I, you know how they had Acapulco Gold and, and Matanuska Thunder? Uh, this was uh, Toledo Window Box. He grew it in his window box. So someone made me a T-shirt. You can yes. see it all on there growing nicely. Right. And my eyes are relatively clear. But the back of the album, okay. if you turn it around, looks like that. And uh, the bush is <laughs> <laughs> um, let me ask you a question. Sure, anything. Uh, your material is, is is dark over the years and, and yeah. somewhat pessimistic, some would say. Yeah, uh, yeah. Are you mellowing? Are, are you more positive now as you get older, or is it changing? Oh, no. Well, it has nothing to do with age. It has to do with noticing things, <laughs> you know, just uh, uh, experience. Uh, but they once asked... Um, George C. Scott, if he was getting mellow, and he said, I've always been mellow. <laughs> so I feel I've always been a mellow fellow. Um, I just, uh, I got their number now. I got their number. They being? They, well, the big, rich committee of people who do everything. Oh, those, yes. oh, they? Yes, the ones who run it all. Okay. So uh, I'm on to them, and I'm on to these folks, and I see the dance. It's easier to see the dance. The older you get, the, the, the nicest thing about getting old, uh, and I'm not quite, uh, I think I'm still in that older category, doesn't matter. Uh, the nicest thing is that you do get perspective, and 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 you really kind of see the thing that's happening here. This whole consumer economy, you know. Are we in trouble? Or are we okay? Well, we're circling the drain, and um, I like it that the circles are getting smaller and faster. So all we're the going. Time. The, the world is ending soon. Uh, but one can hope. One can right. only hope. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, I have I have rooted for the big comet and the big asteroid since way before those movies. I I just want to see a nice big explosion of some kind, and I'd like to have it happen east of me so that I can watch it on CNN for about 24 hours before ah, it catches up. Before to it me. hits you. Yeah. yeah, right. But but I do kind of root for the end of it all. We we preach something here on the Late Late Show. Check your negativity at the door. Oh, that's well. I, I didn't that, hear about that. No. Nobody told me. Nobody but told me. but it's I. I it, I'm open to, to listening. I like yeah. that. Well, it's, 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 it's really too long for these kind of interviews, but I promise you to, to put out a monograph and send it over to you. That's what we like to hear. Yeah. Now, stick around. Five questions when we come back with George Collins. <laughs> and here we go. The all-important five questions with George Collins. We start with geography. Geography. Where was your first TV appearance? Uh, 50th Street near 6th Avenue. And what New was York the, City. What was the name of the show? The Tonight Show. Oh, was it? Yeah. It wasn't the Merv Griffin show? No, that was my first regular TV. I did the Tonight Show years before that, and it didn't count because okay. nothing happened. That's exact. <laughs> that's correct. That's correct. Who would know that? If anyone would know that. <laughs> Uh, tell me, uh, is this easier? I don't know. That. What does AM and FM stand for? Uh, amplitude modulation and frequency modulation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which of the seven dirty words you can't say on TV was recently uttered on the CBS hit Chicago Hope? Oh, uh, sh I know this. <laughs> Bingo, that is correct. Uh, another biggie. Another biggie. Uh, yeah, you're doing well here. <laughs> Uh, uh, it's, uh, category is fast food. Gordita or Chalupa? Ah. Uh, what do you prefer? Uh, they make up these things now. Uh, do you know the difference uh, between uh, these two? Uh, no, I'm with the little dog. I'll go for the Chalupa. <laughs> What's that first one called? Well, I, let's see what these are. I'm, I, I... Okay. A chalupa and a gordita are identically filled with meat, cheese, lettuce, tomato, and salsa. The difference is that the shell of the chalupa is deep fried. Whoa. Did you say chalupa? Chalupa is chalupa, correct. Chalupa, yeah, chalupa, that is yeah. correct. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you're doing, that is four out of four. You're not, doing so well. The last fair. thing I want to do is put yeah. you on the spot. On the spot. Okay, I don't uh, want to do that, but where do you stand on abortion? Uh, 
Well, my, my mother told me, I was almost aborted. This is really true. She told me uh, she was sitting in the abortionist's office in uh, 1937, and she looked up at a painting they had and thought she saw her mother, who had died recently, and said to my father, we're getting out of here, we're going to have this baby. So in that case, I'm against abortion. For the, large, <laughs> the larger answer is, the larger answer is, uh, isn't it strange that most of the people who are against abortion are people you wouldn't want to in the first place? But, um... That's a good score. Uh, it's called the uh, the Little David Years. It's a seven-disc CD set. Big hand for George Carlin. Thank Carl. you very much. Right